Hello, um, I'm just doing a video really quick because I was doing an experiment and I'll show you how it goes. But I have, I found out that quaggas and zebras can breed. Um, so I put in a female quagga with a male zebra. And they have bred. Um, and then I have a female zebra in with a male quagga. I'm going to see if they breed. But I also wanted to see what their babies would look like and if it depends on like who the mother is. Or if maybe female zebras won't breed with male quagga or if it's all that complicated. But what I did notice um, was that... The game classifies quaggas as zebras, even though it doesn't call them zebras, because it... This is the first one I put down, this girl. And then I put down this zebra. And... They... Should have been quagga one, common zebra one. But instead, it was quagga one, common zebra one. And then I put down her mate which was the quagga, and then I put down the zebra, so it should have been just like this, one and two, because that's the first quagga and that's the second quagga, and this should have been zebra one, zebra two, but I think that these count as zebras technically for the game, maybe so that they can interbreed, but they just called them different, but the game still counts them as zebras, which I thought was interesting. But, um, I'll come back when this girl's having her babies and we can look and see if they look like quagga or if they are, uh, zebras or both. I don't know. We'll find out. But I'll be back. Uh, quick side note while I was, uh, while I'm waiting. I was messing around to see what animals sorry I have some wetlands animals well it turns out that it looks like they kind of show you which animals can swim and which ones can't because like obviously beavers can swim and flamingos can swim so that's like floating on the water obviously crocodiles can swim this guy I'm not really sure but what I do know is that these guys cannot swim. It was drowning. And it looks like it's drowning. And you can't place it in the water. This one, you can't place it in the water, but it's not really interacting. So I'm not really sure about that. But This one is drowning. It's like actively. <laughs> I think they're drowning. But it's interesting that it, it kind of shows you maybe what animals may be able to swim. Well, hippos actually don't swim on top of the water, but I think they do in this game. So, I just thought that was interesting. I'll be back when my uh, quaggas actually are ready to give birth. Okay, it is time for quagga number one to have her babies. Or baby, I don't know which. What are you going to be? A zebra or a quagga? Okay. Quagga. Now, um, all we need to know is if the zebra will give birth to a zebra or a quagga. Which gene is more dominant? Or maybe it just depends on who the mom is. That could be what it is. I will let you know. All right, it's time for the -hoo -hoo -hoo, zebra. Sorry, trying to click back in. Um, she just plopped right down. Usually they go find a bush, but she just plopped. Oh, so that's a quagga too. Interesting. I almost want to do multiple generations. On this one. I think the other baby's a female. Let's see where. Yeah. 
Interesting. So they both turned out to be quaggas. Maybe the quagga gene is more dominant, or maybe it's just like 50-50 chance you might get a boy or a girl, and you might get a quagga or a zebra. I don't know. I don't... I'm not sure I really want to um, spend too long doing this, but I might do an, like a follow-up and see if I do multiple generations what happens, and also if the females have a preference over a zebra or a quagga. Um, like, if I, I put one of each in there and see if they care which one is, um, you know, what I'm trying to say that I can't get the words out for. See if they have a preference. So I'll, I guess I'll do a short follow-up video in a bit, but, um, that was fun and interesting. I guess at some point we'll see if we can figure out if the gene is dominant and how it works in multiple generations and all that. And um, Yeah, well, thanks for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day.